So what about like, what are, you know, when, when you're doing a stage hypnosis show, you know, what are kind of, what's kind of the goal? Like, what are you hoping people get out or take away from the show? Well, you know, when you first start to do it initially, you know, your goal is to get people, you know, your first goal is to get people on stage, to get people to volunteer. And then of course, to get people to actually be hypnotized and then, you know, weeding out the ones that may not necessarily be as interesting on stage or the ones that aren't hypnotized. And then of course, having the crowd laugh, you know, if you just look at it from that mindset early on, that's the way that, you know, that's, that's, that's the structure. But as it began to, you know, evolve, I realized that there was also an opportunity here for people to be able to see how the mind works and that it really is something that you can, you know, that you can tap into because a lot of people, when they watch a hypnosis show, um, they're like, Oh, that's not real. That person's, you know, faking it or whatever the case may be. That's why it's, you know, it's kind of interesting to see clips of hypnosis shows online, but people are just like, Oh, you know, that's not real. But when you do a hypnosis show and you're there in person and people see it, especially during corporate events, because I can't tell you how many times somebody would come up to me and go, now I know this is real. I work next to that guy every single day. And there's no way he was faking that. That was something like I've, I've never seen before. So all these, you know, personal relationships that people had was, was able to validate, you know, the truth and the reality of, of hypnosis. And the thing was, is that when I would call for volunteers, um, you want to give them an incentive to come up on, on stage. So I would let people know that, you know, you, you give a little pre-talk up front at the beginning of the show. You let people know what to expect, what's going to happen. And you tell them a little bit about how hypnosis works. So what I would say to people, you know, if you have a goal that you're looking to achieve, if there's something that you want to change in your life, you want to make a positive difference in your life, maybe there's a negative habit that you want to get rid of. When you come up here and participate, we're going to be able to make that happen for you. We're going to be able to make that, that possible for you. So that was a huge incentive for people to come up on stage. I remember one woman on the cruise ship, uh, she, was a gr she was what we would call the star of the show. I mean, she was just an incredible participant on stage. And she had come up to me a few days after the show, which was cool on the cruise ships because you know, normally if like you do a, uh, a show someplace, you leave, you go home and you don't see these people, you know, maybe again until you go back to do another show. But I had the chance to personally interact with everybody on, on the cruise ship during the rest of the cruise. And I had a woman that came up to me and she said, I had no you know, desire to participate you know, in your show. But when you said that you were going to help us be able to achieve our goals, that is something that I wanted to be a part of. And she said her whole thing was, she said, she's a chocoholic. Apparently, it's like a, it, it was a huge issue with her that she was eating chocolate all the time and you know, chose chocolate over whatever else. And she said, I wanted to stop eating chocolate. So that was my goal. And it was like three or four days after the show. And she said, I have not had any chocolate since that night. And there's, there's chocolate everywhere. And she goes, even my, my friends can't believe it because they know what I'm like when it comes to chocolate. So you made that happen, you know, for me in my mind. I say, well, you know, I'm the guide. You actually were able to do that, you know, yourself. But so that was, that later on became one of my, you know, my, my personal goals with the stage was to let people know that they could have a good reason to come up and that they would have the opportunity to make a change for them, you know, themselves. And, and then of course, hearing from people after the fact about how they participated in the show and they were able to achieve this goal. There was something that they were able to give up in their life, you know, in terms of a negative habit. And it also became for me this opportunity that even when people didn't volunteer, if they were just in the audience, that they could see, how profound the mind was and that this was something that everybody, you know, has access to. So it almost, you know, it, it really became not just a demonstration of entertainment for an audience, but it became an opportunity for people to realize how powerful the minds were. And then even, you know, show them that it would be possible, you know, for them, that it wasn't something mysterious, it was stuff that people could achieve on their own. So that was my, you know, my biggest goal in the end to be able to paint everything in a positive light and encourage people to, you know, tap into this power for themselves. You just can't help yourself, can you?